Okay, I'm back again to talk about another one of our 10 or 11 archetypes, depending on how you count them. This one is so common that it is really striking when you see a story that does not have this character archetype in it. Reservoir Dogs, which is one of my favourite films, is really notable for not having one of these in it, and it's not ogres if you're looking at the picture. So, I'll have a flip through and you've probably already worked out what this is. There we have Princess Leia from Star Wars, Cho from Harry Potter, and Sally from Cars. Now, they have one thing in common, obviously, they have their gender, but there's something much more in common, and it's so striking how common this is that when you do happen to have, say, a book that doesn't have this character archetype in it, they'll often put it into a movie. And in fact, lots of stories, this character archetype just comes kind of bolted on. The story itself that this archetype represents, um, they just seem to have to put in everything. It's a bit like salt. And of course, I'm talking about the love interest. Um, while your hero's off saving the dragon, he also gets to um, to get the girl, or though in these days um, sometimes the hero gets to get the boy, whether the hero is male or female. But there is a love interest, so it isn't just a female love interest, it can be a male love interest, um, depending on the story. Um, Buffy, Buffy notably has a number of male love interests, who also get to be different character archetypes at different times. So let's have a look at what they have in common. First of all, they tend to be young, and they tend to be female. You will occasionally see a story where the young, where the love story is between two older people, but it's uncommon. And you will occasionally see stories, oh, these are getting more common, where the love interest is male. Although they do tend to be a love interest plus something else. Whereas, I'm sorry to say, more often than not, when you're a female love interest, sometimes that's your entire part, just to be the object of desire for the, um, for the male hero. So, young female for the most part, attractive almost universally. You can be kind of quirky attractive, but you need to be attractive. And you need some kind of saving or rescuing. So while the, um, you might actually need to be rescued from the dragon, although it's a very old trope, um, but you need some kind of saving. So there you have it. There is a really, really common... Um, a really common archetype, and I defy you to find 10 stories, to go and find 10 books or 10 movies that do not have this archetype in it.